Hello everyone, my name is Emre, Emre Çancıoğlu. I'm studying at İzmir Kartik Şelebi University. In this semester, uh, we have microcontroller lecture and it's project-based course actually. My project is temperature data logo by using the PC interface. Uh, today, uh, I'm going to show you how the project works. So let's get started. Here are the schematics of the project. I will explain all components one by one and then uh, I will run the project. I use 16 times 2 LCD display uh, to show the temperature data that LM25 have recorded. Also shows that the processing percentage, I will explain it later. As I said before, LM25 is the new user temperature data. There are two connections about LM25. So let me show you. First one is to measure the temperature between 2 degree and the 150 degree. The other connection can measure the data from uh, minus 55 degree to 100, 150 degree. I decided to use this type of connections. And, uh, and LM35's output is connected to the analog pin on the microcontroller. Here is the and then 35's output, it's analog pin. Uh, here our microcontroller, I use PIC18 F45 K4222. Port C pins uh, is used for communication part of the project. We have two types of connections on this project. First one is to uh, first one is to communicate between computer and the microcontroller and the second one is the communication between microcontroller and the SD card so port D here is the port D uh, pins uh, are used to run LCD properly also we have like here DB9 connector it's used for communication between uh, computer and the microcontroller by using RS 232 communication cable. This is the oscillator circuit, and there is an SD card module. It helps us to read and write jobs from the SD card. Uh, and also, I used virtual terminal. Uh, before explaining the virtual terminal, let me run the project. So let me arrange the project. Yeah, let's get started. So at the beginning, we have a kind of animation on the LCD. And uh, after animation, the uh, menu will come out from the uh, virtual terminal. I choose virtual terminal because it can be downloaded and set up easily. Uh, it's uh, it is useful and can run any uh, device such as computer, smartphones, or whatever you would like to use. Here is the menu. The user will choose any option from the menu to do following. First one, save temperature data in a new file on SD card. And two, append temperature data to an existing file on SD card. And last one, send temperature data to the PC as the copy of the SD card. If the user press any other numbers except from these 1, 2 and 3 from the keyboard, uh, then terminal will uh, give an error. So let's press the 1. So uh, I pressed 1 because I used the serial communication interrupt right here. To avoid that the user can press any other option from uh, the menu accidentally and it can lead to delete all data on SD card. Uh, it's undesired situation. To avoid the situation, the menu wants the user wants from user uh, to do long press to avoid the, that undesired situation. I prevent this situation by using this serial communication interrupt right here right here and uh, 
So while I'm talking, uh, the data are measured and uh, recorded on SD card every minute. So for now, we have one recorded data on SD card. And we uh, LM35 uh, measure the data as a value of 47 TV. And the LCD display also shows that the 47 uh, degree here is the processing percentage and it shows that the times go on when uh, a minute is done percentage will be 100 then we will go down to zero percentage also a new minute starts so for now we have two recorded data on SD card so let's uh, check it out whether the data are recorded on SD card or not so let's start the project from the beginning the animation and then menu will come out so for this case uh, I will press the tree on the keyboard uh, by using by using keyboard uh, let's press and I also do long press right here and here is the recorded data on SD card as you see we have uh, 47 degree and LM35 also shows that the same value uh, and as I said before we have two uh, recorded data for now if we wait uh, much more longer it will be uh, the more data recorded on the SD card the number of the recorded data will increase actually and uh, option 2 is the same as the option 1 the only difference is that the option 2 uh, is recorded on existing file so terminal uh, opens the existing file and continue record data on it so this is the temperature data logger by using the virtual terminal and the SD card module this is the schematics this is the report of the project and here is the code I put a comment every single line to explain and uh, I want you to understand better this code I will share all source code schematics and report of the project on the description of the video so have a nice day